Nope. Blocked it. I just deleted it. I mean, he's done pretty good. It's only let one thing get past. I mean, I wouldn't totally discredit it because this right here got past. And if I restart the machine, um, this trust fighter is going to go wild. Um, hang on just one second. I want to pause and find some more links. Okay, I got some uh, stuff on here. Okay, let's see what gets through. Let's try this. Once the behavior guards are going to kick in, this thing's getting installed. Yeah. Is it vanished without trace? This looks like a newer download here. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with it. It's uh, getting deleted. It's going vanishing on its own there. Um, I don't know if it's... Uh... Let me see something. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's go ahead and move on here. Don't have all night to play around with that one variant that did not get detected. Looks like this is probably going to get detected. It's stalling out. Well, never mind. Looks like it moved it to the quarantine chest. That's good. Good heuristics right there. Um, let's see what flexor.exe does here. Looks like it's detecting that also as a malware variant. And let's try this, bot.exe. Doing really good so far. Hey. Good little run right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and restart the machine and pause the video. Okay, here we go. Um, starting back up. Let's see if anything goes wild after a reboot here. Hearing a lot of Windows beeps. Uh, for some reason, I'm not fully protected after a restart. My shields are off. Hopefully it's got some kind of self-defense built into it where malware can't just turn... Okay, there we go. I'm not seeing any, uh, that fake antivirus that usually, when it does get installed like it did, it usually goes crazy. There's that setup.exe. It is not running. After a reboot... So I can manually launch it. Huh. I'll tell you what, let me see if I can actually I know with ESET I can uh, 
submit a file through the program itself. Um, so there's some kind of uh, way that I can submit stuff through Avast. Maybe it's community. I mean, for a free program, it's pretty good. I mean, can't knock it. It's done a good job. Probably about as good as any. It's, I mean, it's done better than some pay products that are viewed today, so. This is this file right here. Gonna go ahead and pause and take the champion of the day for a uh, scan after Avast. Here I'm trying to go to Google and uh, as you can tell my browser's been hijacked. Uh, if I'm sure if I run a hijack this right now that uh, you'd see the uh, browser help helper object in there right now, the BHO. But you know I don't know if Avast did stop this from starting up or if, uh, Trust Fighter has somehow got damaged upon trying to run. I'm going to download Twister. <laughs> Not that Twister right there, but the uh, Twister antivirus that I reviewed earlier. If I can actually get to anything on here. Hang on just a second. I decided just to leave this alone and, and uh, not run the Twister. Uh, I'm just going to rate this product for what it did. Um, you can probably install anything and do a scan and it will find some stuff. I've already showed uh, which vendors do or are detecting this right now. So I'm going to end my review here and uh, let you rate the product on what you've seen here. I'd say done pretty good other than missing this one variant. Uh, you know, just missing one program right now out of all the ones I threw it up against is really remarkable for a free product. And, you know, right now, they're out of all the antivirus products out there, only about 10 or 11 are detecting this right now. So I'd probably get it.